It's been a while once again, but here's episode 155 of Ron's Update. just uh, realized that it is too late for me to do it now so I'm just gonna skip it which it wasn't a run anyway it was a cross training day so cross training days are kind of semi optional so I don't feel too bad about skipping it it would have been a bike trainer ride uh, on my bike trainer doing Swift I just wasn't in the mood, so I decided to skip it. Tomorrow I'll be doing a run outside, which will be great. And hopefully, I'm planning on getting to bed earlier tonight than I normally go to bed, so I ought to be rested up for tomorrow and can get in a decent run. I think that's been part of my problem lately, is I haven't been getting enough rest, and then I don't feel like running or exercising because like last night I got a little under six hours, five hours and 45 minutes say and that's just not enough for me and so this afternoon when I was thinking about riding my bike trainer I go, oh, I think I'll just rest. So then I rested and then I actually took a nap and then when I woke up, then I felt worse than I did before I took the nap. Did you ever do that? So then, you know, got to be supper time, and then I watched a little YouTube, and then I washed the laundry, and paid a couple of bills, and, you know, the whole routine. And now it's uh, 9.45, and and it's just too late for me to go ride my bike trainer. I don't like riding after 8 o'clock. So tomorrow I'll just try to, uh, I'd really like to get a trail run in. I haven't run on a trail for probably three or four weeks. In fact, this seems like this even though last month I got in over like 131 miles of overall train, which basically is bike riding and running and walking, I really didn't feel like I accomplished a whole lot. So this month I'm hoping to do better, but you know, we've had a hot streak in the 90s quite frequently in the afternoon, which is when I tend to do my runs. I never have been a morning runner, early morning, except for races. I've always run late in the afternoon or in the evening. And uh, it's still been hot, even in the evening late. Yesterday I ran, it was after seven o'clock, yesterday evening when I ran it was probably still in the mid 80s but I had a decent run and it was still daylight I, I like summer for the idea that 
I can go out late and still be daylight when I run, which I, I, I like being able to run in the daylight. In the wintertime, a lot of times when I, if I do a late run, I got to do a headlamp because, I mean, a late run in the winter, what, any time after 5, 5.30 late as far as darkness so anyway let's get back to uh, something else I had this well I still have this thing going on with Alexandra in the UK where we're supposed to be uh, keeping track of our sleep because neither one of us were doing very good at it and I was trying to go to bed earlier and get up early because I wanted to start getting up about 4 to 4.30 in the morning, every morning, and uh, have, you know, more of a day that way. And I've been just a basic failure at that whole thing. And But now, I, I'll have the COVID thing kind of hindered do, doing a lot of stuff but basically now that it kind of slacked off and, and, and living at home by myself since my wife passed away uh, two years ago now uh, it's pretty lonely so what I've been, been doing is trying to get out of the house, so I've been working at the golf course two days a week, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and I had been working at a major car rental company uh, prior to COVID part-time too, and of course everybody got laid off, and they called me back in June and wanted to know if I wanted to come back and I went, well sure because I got really tired of sitting at home and you can't train 24 hours a day you know. so I went back to work in about the middle of June so I've been working basically five days a week and uh, trying to schedule things around the five days but the one good thing it did do is it's helped my going to bed earlier and getting up earlier because uh, the two days now that I go out to Stone Mountain to the golf course to work we're going to work at six o'clock so I got to get up at four to do that well if I'm going to get up at four I'm going to go to bed at at least by nine so I get seven hours of sleep because seven hours is my minimum that I want to get which I never seem to manage but that's what I'm shooting for and then the other two to three days when I work for the car rental company I go to work at eight so I've been getting up at 5 30 so I've been going to bed about 10 10 30 those days so it's kind of by by going back to work part-time uh, it's almost like full-time because I'm doing it five days a week uh, has stabilized my getting up early and going to bed before, with, during the COVID thing, I, I, I really didn't have to get up at all, and I didn't have to really go to bed at all, so I was going to bed like 2 in the morning, getting up at 10, I mean, and it just really aggravated me, but I just did it every day anyway, so having a part-time jobs has helped me out, and plus, I've never been a person that has been a handyman I guess you'd say I'd rather pay somebody to do something at the house than me do it 
I'm not a fixture-upper person. I know a lot of people are, but I've never been that way. I've always wanted to go do something else. So being able to have uh, part-time jobs has supplemented my money and helps do things like pay for the yard people and all that other kind of stuff that I don't like doing. So it's killing two birds with one stone. It's helping me go to bed when I need to and get up when I need to. Plus, I don't have to do all the housework. I can get somebody else to do it. So does that make sense? I guess it does. I don't know. But training-wise, uh, I've been, the COVID thing, and basically you would think that when you had all that spare time that you would train more, right? Well, I, I didn't even do that. And my long runs went down the drain. I mean, I'm supposed to be doing a 10-mile uh, run every other weekend. And the past two, I've kind of semi-skipped. Well, one, I did a five-miler in the morning and a five-miler in the afternoon because I didn't want to run ten all at one time. And then last week, I just did five. And I think the week before that, I was supposed to do five, and I ended up just riding my bike on, on the bike trainer because I just couldn't get out of the house. So, anyway, I... Hopefully this will straighten things out a little bit more. And I've registered for a three and a half mile trail race September 26th, I think it is. Harvard's Park it's by Dirty Spokes. There's an outfit here in Georgia called Dirty Spokes. They, they originally, I think, did... Uh, mountain bike races and then they expanded into trail races and they also did the Xterra trail races and when when they were going on here but and I guess Xterra trail races have kind of disappeared from Georgia but anyway they put on a series of trail races that I run periodically and uh, they got one Harvard's Park September that I'm running and then you know my Disney race the uh, Star Wars race got canceled and they didn't do they didn't switch it to a vertical the virtual race at all they just canceled the, the Star Wars weekend and uh, refunded the money well the wine and dine weekend they canceled it too but now they switched it to virtual so I signed up for uh, I think it's November 6th uh, virtual 5k wine and dine 5k Disney and then of course I've got peach tree November 26th which is Thanksgiving because peach tree got moved from July 4th to Thanksgiving day and then, of course, in December is the Galloway half, which I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to run it or not. I, I didn't sign up early, so I didn't get the discount for signing up early because I didn't really know if I wanted to run it or not. And I guess... I'll just decide at the last minute whether I want to do it. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. So we'll see. And I haven't run with my daughter for a couple of weeks now. We usually go down to Lilburn Park on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and run in the afternoon, but she lives in Livonia, which is about an hour and a half from here. And the only time we really run is when she comes in to work because where she works is, uh, I think it's Duluth in that area, which isn't too far from here. And But she only has to do it like one day a week if she even comes in because she's been working from home this whole time. 
and so she hadn't really been coming into work. So I haven't run with her in a while. So I've been running by myself, and sometimes when you run by yourself, after a while, I mean, I, I like running by myself, but every once in a while you just want to run with somebody, you know, just have somebody to talk to, and I haven't been having anybody to talk to to run with. Mainly, I guess one of the reasons is since I'm an old geezer, I'm probably running slower than other people would run, and I just don't feel like I want to hold them back. So, you know, because I think Fleet Feet has a weekly run over in Lawrenceville I could go to, but I just haven't done it because I figured doing my run-walk thing, I'd probably be lagging behind everybody, and I don't want to do that. So, this is about a 15-minute talk, and that's just about enough for this short podcast today, okay? So I'm going to try to get this thing out, if it recorded good, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to today's podcast. We'll be here next time. Keep the emails coming in and be sure to subscribe.